Hi everyone. Welcome back. Today we are going to be looking at finding the degree of a given monomial. Now first thing you might want to say, well, what is a monomial? A monomial, mon means one, nomial means number, so it's a one-termed number in algebra. So for example, 3x to the fifth power, one term. Terms, remember, are separated by plus and minus signs. So there are no plus signs or minus signs in these. So it's all multiplied together. So I have 3x to the fifth power. Whenever you have only one variable, that exponent is your degree. So for this one, my degree, I'm going to abbreviate degree, is 5. Well, that's pretty nice. That wasn't bad. The next one looks a lot more painful, though. I mean, look, there's more than one variable. We have b's and c's. We have a b squared, c squared. So, oh, excuse me, b squared, c to the seventh power. So, 7b squared, c to the seventh. Well, when you have more than one variable and it's a monomial, you just add the exponents together. So, to get my degree for this one, I have to add my exponents. The exponent of the b is 2. The exponent of the c is 7. 2 plus 7 equals 9. So the degree of this one is 9. Now, the last one I have here is, it's just a constant. It's a number. There are no variables. Whenever you have a constant, it doesn't matter if it's 9 or 19 or 99 or 10 million and 9. The degree is always 0 for a constant. Why? Because there's no variable. All right? It requires a variable to have a degree. Okay, well, have fun with these, and as my students tell me, just like and follow, and I'll see you again next time.